I use a lot of imported objects in Archicad each time I walk, and most of those objects to model them in Archicad is a whole lot of work, so I choose not to do that instead and I just get them from the internet. I'm going to show you how I'm able to get those objects, import them into Archicad, and then use them for my work. Now I'm going to go to, I'm going to open my browser. This is my browser. I'm going to search for archibaseplanet.com. Archibaseplanet.com. This is it. Now, once this website opens, this is where I get most of the objects I use in Archicad. Now, I'm going to search for particular things that I need, and I'm going to search for them under this tab called Enhanced by Google. Let's say I'm looking for a couch that I really want to use but I can't find it in Archicad object. So I'm just going to search either a sofa, let's say a sofa, I'm going to search the sofa and then I'm going to click on search. Now it's going to search and then it's going to give me my result and these are the possible results that I have. Now I'm going to do a lot of surfing to be able to find out exactly what I need. But I'm going to click on this sofa just to use this as an example. Assuming I like this sofa, which I don't, so let me look at what I like. So I'm going to come under the tab, the tags, and then I'm just going to search sofa to see all the possible sofas that have been tagged so far by the people that did upload all of this software. Thank you, by the way, whoever uploaded this software onto this website. Now I'm going to search, I can decide to keep navigating just to find out exactly what I need. If I'm doing an interior design and there's a particular kind of software that I really, really need to do my work. Uh, a bit odd. All right, so let's say um, this is what I need, for example, this funny looking software is what I need, really, really need for my software. I'm going to download this. I'm going to download this. Yeah, it's downloading for some reason, it's slow. Yeah, it's done. It's about 40 megabytes. That's the size of what I need. Let's say I need more more objects. Uh, let's say I need a table, for example, and I can't find that particular table in Archicad. I'm going to search it here. I'm going to come to. Oh, these are these are the different tables that we have. But I'm going to click on any one of them because I can't find the picture on this other side. So I'm going to click on this to open up. The possible table so these are the different types of tables that we have or that the software the website has so i'm going to look for what i need let's say uh let's say i really 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 do like this one for example and it's about three megabytes now you have to pay attention to the sizes of these different objects because if you have a whole lot of heavy objects in your scene it's going to really really slow down so i'm going to click and download and let me just go ahead and download this all right, so it's it's downloading. Now I'm going to do a, a whole lot of work in this particular uh, what's it called in this particular website to get all of the objects. I've been using this website for a really long time, so I have a whole lot of objects from this particular website. But I'm just going to use this to just as an illustration to show you exactly what I you know do with Archicad and how I'm able to import this imported material into Archicad. So both of what I need has been downloaded. So I'm just going to go to show folder. I'm just going to open it. All right. So this is these are my object. This two object is what I have. I'm just going to double click. I'm going to extract it because it's all zipped from the software. So I'm just going to extract all. Extract. All right. So only one of them was extracted. Let me go ahead and extract the second one, right click and extract all, extract, all right, after that, let me, let me open this one first, so this is the different, we have different pictures for the sofa, the software shows you what the sofa would actually look like when rendered, so this is what it looks like. Now, if I click on the sofa, it's going to open, and one of these this one called sofa1.gsm is what your Archicad is actually going to read. Your Archicad won't read all of these other ones, but this is what it's going to actually read. So if I want to import this particular sofa into Archicad, this is what I'm going to do. Now let me go back to my Archicad. Let me go back to my Archicad. This is my Archicad. That is an object, by the way. So I'm going to come to object. I'm going to click on the object twice because I'm trying to 
use that particular sofa even to Archicad because I don't have that particular type of sofa here so that one is really the one I want to use as zoom in so what I want to do now is to come to this tab over here click on it and then I'm going to go to load other objects I'm trying to load something that is not in Archicad into Archicad so load other objects is the way to go now I'm going to search for the one that I actually need the one that I've just extracted that's sofa one and then this is sofa.gsm that's what I'm trying to actually export or import basically into Archicad. It takes a while to actually import depending on how big the uh, depending on how big the size is from the website. If you're importing something of like a hundred megabytes or two hundred megabytes, it's gonna take a whole lot of time for it for you to get it. Now, this particular sofa has just two different types of surfaces. It has the leather and then it has the wood. Now let's place it and see how it will look in the 3D first. This is the sofa. Now notice that you want to actually search, check the scale of this particular chair to be sure that it's actually scaled to an actual chair that you need. So to do that, you're going to select this and then come to the object settings. Now observe these three particular numbers here. These three. This is the width with the dimension in the x dimension in the y and then this is the height of your object just by me looking at this i do believe it's the right scale for an object but if you don't feel it's the right scale you're going to want to rescale this make sure you link it up first before you rescale it so you don't make it a, a lot you don't, you don't distort it basically that's what I'm, I'm trying to say so click ok the next thing you're going to want to do is to look at this in 3d to actually see what you've imported okay my sofa is here but the the material is a bit off right now what i want to do is to actually change the materials to be a lot more realistic now understand what i said earlier this sofa actually has just two different materials two different surfaces rather which is the wood which you can actually see here and then this other one that's the the actual leather material the fabric now go to the settings dialog or you can just say ctrl t and then you're going to want to activate this and then you want to activate this also under the leather tab just click on it as a drop down uh, come to leather general and then click on this one and then just select the material you want to use um, let's say i want this to be brown leather that's the only kind of leather i have in archicad you can actually get more surfaces i think i have that in a separate video so this leather, I'm going to click on this leather to have that. And then I'm going to come to wood. Under wood. Oh, this wood. Sorry. For some reason, I couldn't find the wood <laughs> that I needed. For some reason, I couldn't find that. All right. So what I need now, this is the wood. Basically, this is the wood tab that I need right now. So I'm going to click on this and then come to general. I am looking for any of the wood material I need. Let's say um, oak light. Mm, that, that, that sounds good. That sounds good enough. And then I'm going to go ahead and want to click OK. Now this is going to load for a while and then it's going to show. Voila. And this is what I have now. See how it's not exactly what we need in terms of the shade because that's because of the the material from Archicad. If you use a different rendering engine, you can achieve a much better result. Now you can actually use this seat, you can have it saved and then any time you need a particular seat that is to this particular specification, you can always do that. Now let's go ahead and import the second chair also, just the table that's supposed to be there. Under the object tool, click on the object and then I'm going to load other object, the same thing we did before. I'm going to search for that particular table. I'm going to search for that particular table. Mm, this, uh, this is a table. And it's going to load itself into the Archicad workspace. This is the table. I think it has two different colors. Let's go ahead and activate this to basically the same thing we did before. It's basically the same thing we did before. All right, let's place it first. All right. Go ahead and escape it, have it positioned properly. Let's say this is where I want the table to be. And I go to my 3D and let me see what the table actually looks like in 3D. Alright. Now let me go ahead and 
give it a proper material feel. Escape, click on this. I come here. Now you can actually see it in your 3D by clicking this 3D icon here. So you don't actually have to go back to your 3D each time you shade it and then want to see what it looks like. The only downside to doing this is sometimes you can find that it's a bit much in terms of if the object you're working on is heavy it slows it down and then it just makes it a lot more chaotic so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this i pick oh let's say i'm looking at a mahogany it's a table after all so i need a mahogany leg and then for the rest of the table i'm going to say let's say see black i don't know how that's going to look it doesn't look good at all but let's let's just for the purpose of this class let's say it looks good and then click OK and voila, and that's what you have. Now, you, you could do this for most of the objects you can find on that particular website I showed you. The website is archibaseplanner.com. I'll have it pasted in the link in the link of this video. You can find it there. Most of the objects I use, not all of them, most of them I, I'm, I'm able to get them directly from that software. Now let's say I'm looking for something I don't, I could not actually see on that software and I need more than what Archibase planners can afford to offer. Now there are a lot more websites out there you can actually use. This is just what I use to do my designs. Now let's say I'm looking for something I can actually find on Archibase Planet. I like to use um, SketchUp, that's the 3D wires from SketchUp, to actually get some other software, some other object that I can actually find. So I'm just going to go ahead and look for 3D Warehouse, yeah, 3D Warehouse by SketchUp. Now, I can actually use some of the objects from 3D Warehouse and then I can just drag them and paste it into my Archibase, my Archicad, but it doesn't exactly give me as much flexibility as if I were going to get those objects from the Archibase Planet website. But let me just show you how it looks like importing an object from SketchUp, that's from 3D Warehouse, a SketchUp file into my archicad workspace i'm just going to go ahead and say let's say i'm looking for a work station when you're working on a, an interior design and you're looking for a particular kind of you know workstation what i was thinking of yeah, let's say workstation nothing here really interests me but let's let just use this for the purpose of illustration so let's say workstation by this guy so i'm going to go ahead and download Oh, I have to sign in first. Okay, let me just quickly do that. All right, I'm signed in now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on download. And let's say I'm looking for... Uh, you actually do need a much earlier version of the file. But let's just go ahead and click on 2021 SketchUp. Just to download this. I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this workstation. Workstation I downloaded. I already have SketchUp installed on my system. So what I'm trying to do now is to open the, the, the file and then save it on a lower version so I can actually open it on Archicad. Because I think if I try to drag this in like this, it might not really work. But let me try. All right. OK, give me a second. All right, it's open. For some reason, I don't want to download another one. Remind me later something. All right, let me go to Archicad. I'm on the ground floor now. What I want to do is to drag from SketchUp and then I will take it into my Archicad workspace to just show you how it feels like in Archicad. Now, this is the object in SketchUp, but I'm assuming you don't use SketchUp that regularly. If not, it's easier for you to use SketchUp and then get from your 3D warehouse and then work with it. But we use Archicad, we don't use SketchUp. So let's go over to Archicad. I'm going to save this as a lower version of SketchUp. Let's say 2017 version. Yeah. All right. I'm going to. All right. So I'm trying to drag an object, this particular SketchUp object. I'm trying to drag it into Archicad. So let me just minimize this window a little bit so I can see both screens. All right. So I'm dragging this and I just have it placed in Archicad. And then I just go ahead and click this. It takes a while for it to load in. Sometimes, depending on how big your object is. And I click OK. And then it's 
going to load itself in it's important yeah that's it let me go ahead and maximize my screen because that was weird all right so this is my object from sketchup let me show you what that looks like in 3d mm, this is what it looks like in 3d that's my object this is the one i was working on before the one from aki base planet this is the object from aki base planet and this is the object from sketchup you can noticeably see the difference with the one from SketchUp, it's attempting to break it into smaller units and then visualize it as such. But with the Archibase Planet object, since the object is, you could read it, the Archicad reads it easier, basically. I think that's why it's a bit more smoother in its textures. The only drawback within for getting an object from SketchUp into Archicad is that when you get an object from SketchUp into Archicad, you can't easily change the surfaces. Click on the object, for example, and then you go to Object, doesn't really give you the option of you know changing if you want to like make this black chair to be blue or, or whatnot it's not that easy but if you are if you are going to be using the arc base planet object you can find that it's a lot easier to do that although if you're rendering with another rendering engine other than archicad say if you are using cinema 4d or if you are using um lumion or twin motion or any of those other wonderful render rendering engines it's not really a problem because you can just shade it off and what use what have what you need essentially so that's all about importing objects from external object into archicad using 3d warehouse and archi base planet so that's how i'm able to get all of my objects for all of the works i do with archicad so thank you everyone for following until next time everyone try and stay safe